Hey guys, Ali here from Local Knowledge, and this is video number two of our three-part series presented by Yeti that focuses on catching these bluefin tuna off our coast. And we're gonna show you how to catch these fish and get them in the boat. We are out here about 100 miles off the coast of San Diego. We're in an area known as the Cortez and the Tanner Banks. There are these seamounts that rise up from several thousand feet of water and actually break the surface. It's late in the season right now. It's mid-November and the bluefin tuna that we were catching all summer and, and fall have actually pushed further offshore. Why they push offshore, we're not sure, but we suspect it's because the bait dried up closer and now it's out here. So we're out here on the bank. There's a few boats around fishing. We got some intel from some friends that were out here yesterday. And that's really where I like to start my day. I like to have as much information as I can from guys that have been fishing, whether that's using a service like Fish Dope or just talking to a good network of buddies, you know, that are out here fishing. A lot of charter guys, a lot of commercial guys that are out on the water day in and day out. But once I get on the grounds here, I kind of know I'm in the zone. We're seeing some life, we're seeing some birds. We're close to where they were caught yesterday. At this point, I'm really gonna rely on my electronics. Late in the season, these bluefin aren't gonna be up foaming as much as they normally would be, or jumping, giving visual cues. And at that point, I turn to my sounder. They show up really, really well on the sounder. So I wanna kinda of get into an area, I'm gonna look around for a bit. I don't even put a kite up, just kinda of wanna get the lay of the land. Once I got that and I feel really confident about where these fish are at, then we're gonna blow the kite up, put a bait out, and hopefully get on them. I saw it, now I don't see it. Right here. Right here. It's the local Sultana Just spotted a breezer of fish, been out here in the zone, so. Look in, metered a couple, now seeing a breezer, so we're just getting set up. We're gonna go upwind of them get our baits ready and fire into them, hopefully get one. So we spotted a small group of fish up on the surface, and now what we're trying to do is just kind of walk the bait around, slow trolling it essentially at about two knots, and try to get that bait near those surface fish, and hopefully they find it before we even see them. But we'll just kind of cruise around, perpendicular to the wind here, let that bait walk across the surface and hopefully entice a bite. There, you there go. she goes. That's where it looks sick right there. Yeah, yeah no, just that's going like, out. You watch that, you're like, how am I not bit? Um, yeah, we're on the edge of it. I think I we're think. ready now. We just ran into a banger. Those are all sausage dogs. Oh, that's all the right yeah. flavor. There it is. Look, wait, wait, wait. Hit him, hit him, hit him. There he is, there, there he we is. Are. We're tight. There he is. Yeah, buddy. Nice work, dude. Yeah, we are tight. Okay, so this was a typical scenario out here, either San Clemente Island or on the Cortez Bank. We're metering along. We got the flying fish already out, dangling from the clip, but it's up off the water so we can move a little faster. Saw a nice mark on the meter, put the bait down, and it took a couple of seconds. Kaboom. Now Jordan's fighting a Pacific bluefin tuna. Hopefully we'll get a chance to put a gaff in this guy. Got him. Oh, free spool, right, you guys. Free spool, on. That's it. Nice and super, super slow, Dwayne, right here. Would that hook just fall out? Oh, that's nice. Ready? Three. Oh, Butterball. Nice. Target acquired, Butterball. dude. Butterball. Little fat boy. Everybody knows how good these fish taste, and we really do try to take extra special care of every one. And that starts with bleeding them. I'm gonna make a cut right about here, and that's gonna cut his aorta. And then a lot of times I'll cut him at the back here. And you wanna do that while he's still alive. And when you strike gold, that's what you'll see. He's literally pumping the blood out of himself. Now we're gonna cover him with a bunch of ice. We always try to carry at least a couple 300 pounds. And then once he settles in, we're gonna put a slurry in there which is basically salt water combined with the ice. That salt water will wash around, it'll get very, very cold, and it just keeps the fish that much colder. 
you can see he's already in a icy sleeping bag. And then a lot of times once he settles in, we'll go ahead and gut him as well. Just another way to get that heat out of the fish as soon as possible. What's up? Check out these sausage doggers. Are they back under us? No, but what, I mean, that's like one mid hundred grid. 150s. Yeah, exactly. I mean, dude, look at that. Oh, yeah. And so we got a banger school underneath the boat right now. You can see it here on the electronics and they're shallow. They're up about 80 feet. This is when we get bites and hopefully we can reload and even get secondary bites. You're, oh, oh, he missed it. He missed it. There. I can feel it. Wine, 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 wine. Oh, there you go. Red Brownie number one. Let's get another. That's gonna get smashed. Yeah. Oh God, eat it. Dude. You know you want it. Oh, uh, we got two fish hanging on the bow. Dwayne here is looking for a little bit of pain. I don't think he's gonna have any trouble finding it. They are stuck to us like glue right now. This is what we've been looking for all day. Fish, we've been on them, but they've decided they want to bite, and this is normal. A lot of times we'll walk over, walk baits over their heads all morning long, and we just can't get a bite. Oh, but, half the foot. Did you just a bit? Oh my God. Dead weight. Oh, are you kidding me? Not the triple, guys. That's what we're looking for. Is that about the bite zone? <laughs> Oh, that's not a small one. Yeah. Oh, there's that angry nothing. one for sure. You get that it? is mental. No! Oh, oh, backup plan. God is that? Go. Yep, 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 yep. Watch your feet. That, those hooks are all exposed. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna burn this boat again. Oh, oh s in low gear, dude! Oh my god! This is this is bonkers. Oh f guy! Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I, do you have a third gap? We hit him two places where he's not bleeding. Get him a gill oh, shot. Oh. <laughs> what part of the gill didn't you get? <laughs> Come on, walk it up. Look at that, so I don't even get a bit. Oh, you're bit. <laughs> get it? Yeah, you got that. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. I'm playing my minnow guy. Get it, buddy. Get it. This is as good as it gets, brother. That's almost 30 pounds of drag. This isn't a small one. <laughs> you haven't slowed down yet for me to turn the handle. That's a slug, dude. That's your PB. Hey, thank you. Coach me out, man. Oh, 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 Thanks for inviting me, dude. <laughs> you invited yourself. <laughs> One, two, two, three. Right on the deck. Here it comes. I don't even like fishing. What's One, up? two, three. <laughs> Feels like the team's got him. I'll walk him back. I got him. <sighs> you had a boys? <laughs> <laughs> 